Well, hello there, each and every one of you. This is Tony Henderson Mayer's television radio relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system. It will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And this is Checking and Chat. You know, I do this show only when I have something to chat about. And I hope this internet connection acts right because it's a look like it's a little shaky. <laughs> but then too, we never know. Because a lot of times during the replay, it comes out just fine. So um, we've been talking about um, really different subjects in regards to business and, you know, kind of getting your ministries and different things together. And we have some members of the Hustle Hub who are helping us out here today. Um, we have two of our guests here and we're expecting another one. So we will see if she will be able to join us, but because our time is so limited, <laughs> I'm going to get them on right away. Uh, we have Dr. Annette West who's joining us and we have Judy, um, uh, St. Pierre who's joining us too as well. So hello there, ladies. Hi, Tony. Hi, Judy. How are you ladies doing? Hi. Great. Good. I'm so glad you guys are with me. So listen, we're going to get right into it. Uh, make sure uh, everyone who's watching, I would like to thank you guys for watching us on various social media channels. Uh, make sure you share this broadcast because I believe people are going to be blessed by what we have to say on today. So um, many of you have already been introduced to Dr. Annette West. And if you missed that interview, she dropped so many beautiful gems. I want you to make sure you go Amen. on to my timeline and watch it. But of course, you can go on to um, my YouTube channel, uh, by the way, guys, which is um, ta -da, <laughs> B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash Tony Tube. You can watch the replay of that interview there. And we're going to be speaking one on one with Judy, uh, possibly on tomorrow. So um, I'm looking forward to that as well. So ladies, today we're going to be talking about um, the benefits of teamwork, the benefits of teamwork. So uh, before we start getting the ladies in on that, um, I believe that teamwork is extremely, extremely important. There's a lot of things you can do alone, um, but there's some things that you need to do as a team. Um, did you want to give any feedback, any one of you ladies give feedback on how important teamwork is in anything that you're doing, not necessarily just a business. I mean, it could be anything that you're doing. Well, I think as a teacher, um, having teamwork in my classroom is important because then we're all fo focused on the same goal and the same outcome. So yeah, I think absolutely. that's important from that front. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What say you, Dr. Dr. West? I well, look, we can't do it all on our own. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's wonderful when you can um, connect with people who um, can help you see your vision, mm -hmm. can help you um, even bring that vision to fruition. Right. And even can um, maybe even let you know that maybe the direction you're taking may not be the best one for today. You know, so we get the, the pluses and the minuses. Mm -hmm of being with a team. Wow, that is so great and so true. And you know, I think sometimes uh, people believe, and you may be one of those watching, I don't know, but sometimes people believe that, you know, if I work with a team or if I get help or if I, you know, connect with someone who's super smart and, you know, I feel a little intimidated by that, that somehow that diminishes me, you know, that, um, mm -hmm you know, asking for help or being in connection with someone who may know more than you diminishes. What do, what do you guys think about that? Personally, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Dr. Go ahead. So I think we are all smart in our own right. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's important for us. I look for people who are doing something more than what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I look for people who are doing something different than I'm doing. I look yeah, for yeah. people who, I said, man, that, that chick is pretty smart right there. I'm not going to run away from her. I want to see what she's talking about. I want to yes. see what's going on over there. Because, you know, part of the team effort is gleaning from one another. And so if I, can, if I can pull something, not that I'm trying to be like her, 
But if she has some nuggets that will help me to grow, why do I need to go and try to reinvent the wheel when the wheel is always already turning and flowing right? Let me jump on that wheel and get what I need to build up what I'm doing. Wow, that is so true. And I think that sometimes we as business owners or entrepreneurs or ministry leaders or work someone who's leading a project or what have you, if we could just see that, you know, see that part that, you know, it's okay to go and look for help. That's one. And it's also okay to have people be part of your team that are quote unquote smarter than you. We're all extremely smart at something. Okay. We're all extremely smart at something. So when I say get people who are smarter than you, doesn't mean generally speaking, they're smarter than you. They just may be smarter than you in that one area that you don't know much about, or you may know something about, but they can take you further or they can take over that task and you don't have to worry about it. Judy, I know you wanted to get in there um, (laughs) earlier. I want to know what your thoughts are. Well, I'm probably the newest one to this, and I came in this with I can't do attitude. Mm -hmm. And being able to see what the other ladies were doing and how they got up there really gave me the hope to know, hey, I can do this. And so, um, like I mentioned earlier in another broadcast, for the first time, took me 30 years to write a book, but I finally got it done. Personally, because Tony said, believe in yourself, you can do it. So she was a very helpful in getting that done. And now starting other things from my book, the ladies in there have given me some real neat ideas. Like one is blogging, you know, telling myself to other people that might need ideas from grief or different things they're going through. That way I can use the book rope to help other people. Absolutely. And so um, we just had, we just joined, uh, have Lakeisha Mosley join us. And so Lakeisha, we've been talking about teamwork and the benefits of teamwork. And Judy took us there. (laughs) Judy told us about, gave us some ideas of what the Hustle Hub is all about. And I say to her all the time, you know, because she's one of the newer ones. And she's, a lot of things that she's doing is very new. And so sometimes she'll say, you know, oh my goodness, you know, this is new for me and, you know, I'm not doing what everybody else is doing. And I get that. But what I say to her is, yeah, you're new, but you're going to learn. And one of the things that she just said that I really like is that it took her 30 years to to write a book. But one word of encouragement from someone helped break that 30 year cycle. And so it's not that it's just about me. It could be anybody, anybody that uh, approaches you one person can help open the door to something else um lakeisha do you have any thoughts on that and um, to honestly that, i just want to say <laughs> yes i didn't have that cross in front of my face anymore i just got to figure out how to turn on turn off the um picture but what i have to say is and honestly it's never too late listen yeah. there are um uh, uh, grandmothers that uh, pretty much got their degrees, you know, at age 60, you know, it was never too late because they decided yes. to do it. So, and then, you know, my mother always put that um, empowerment in me, in me to never give up. It's always a time to strive. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Your that gift so and good. your success mean something. That is so good because someone may be watching us now and, you know, you may be up in age or you may have um, spent your life raising children or maybe you are going into a whole other field or would like to. And you may think, well, you know, I'm kind of untraditional, so I don't think I can do it. You know, uh, this is why teamwork is so important. This is why you have to align yourself with people who are going where you're going, or at least have the same types of mindsets. They may not be doing exactly the same things. What are you guys' thoughts on that? Especially when we talk about the Hustle Hub. Um, The Hustle Hub is a membership club where people come together to learn how to start their businesses, or they may already have businesses, so they're developing them to create streams of income and to seek out job alternatives. So what are you guys' thoughts about the teamwork um, that is within the Hustle Hub itself? Honestly, you're not by yourself. You know, we have a step-by-step process. And if you don't understand something, you always have uh, support. 
everyone chimes in. We're not in this by ourselves. So that's what I love about the Hus Club. You you have um, aligned members that are connected with you and to achieve the same goal that you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. And um, there are people who are brand new all the way to seasoned people in business or ministry or project development or whatever you're doing. Um, I would love to get um, Judy's perspective as a newbie. I know she's going to do an interview with us tomorrow, um, and we'll delve into that a little bit more. Um, but I would love to know your perspective as someone who um, all of this is new to you. I mean, you know, it's just all new to you. How are you feeling when you get among people who, who've done it before and maybe some people who haven't? Well, the, what's nice about the the club is I'm with like-minded like minded persons. We all want to be successful and we all want to help each other be successful. So being in this helps me like you guys have helped me. Hey, there, I can do more with my book. I can do blogging. I can, that's what I'm starting with. And next time you guys give me ideas of what, how I can work on, not and not just go do this and send me away, but you give me concrete ideas of what I can work on. So that's what's been helpful for me. That's great. That's great to know. Um, Dr. NetWest, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the collaboration station because we're talking about teamwork. Um, how essential is the collaboration station and what would you say like the benefits of it uh, is in regards to teamwork? I think in regards to teamwork, the collaboration station, it's a great motivator. It's a morale booster. It's a, um, it helps us generate creativity because we're, we're going back and forth talking to each other. We're looking at what we've been working on before. We're asking each other, where are you now in that process? Um, if it's not working, what can we do maybe? How can we look at it to maybe uh, shift something? Um, you know, so there's a lot of questions. There's an open, open forum for everyone to talk, um, to share, to ask questions, to give their, to give their thoughts. So that's why I say it boosts um, morale. It motivates us. And it also motivates us to be willing to take risks that maybe something we were thinking about doing, we were a little nervous about it. We might have been a little anxious about it. And we still may be anxious when we do it, but we get that, um, we get that boost from our grouping we get that uh, we get that sense of camaraderie that we need and then we feel like you know what i can take this on i can do this it's like what judy's saying you know when she met with us before okay she was thinking about some things we talked to her about some things and now she's talking about some things that she's decided to do she's excited about it and i think that's what it is the excitement yes when we're talking like we're doing tonight, but when we're talking in that collaboration station and we are engaging with one another, I think it's just essential. Yes, absolutely. Um, I love a lot of what you said. I mean, all of it actually, but it was just so many good things in there. And what I like about the collaboration station too, um, and Lakeisha, you can, you can chime in on this one is that um, not only are we talking, not only are we sharing, not only are we motivating, but we're actually getting things done, you know? So we have people who have gotten books done. We've gotten people who um, have done conferences. We've got people who've gotten opportunities to actually speak on platforms. Um, we've got people who um, started products when they were more service oriented. Some people started services when they were more uh, product oriented. So I love the fact that you can get things done, but it's still a low pressure. It's not something where you're being pressurized mm -hmm. to get things done. Lakeisha, what do you say about that, uh, about that uh, concept of getting things done? I love how we can get things done because we set a goal, you know, to make it happen. Even if we don't know what's going to happen, someone on the team knows what's going to happen. So as long as we have a diagram and a um, a goal to succeed, you know, that's what I love about the Hustle Club. You know, all, all you require is us to go out there and make sure you jump. Make sure you jump to your goals. Absolutely. So that's what that. we do. <laughs> I love it. Jump. Yes, indeed. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, 
you know, because there's no set requirement. I mean, there may be times like when we said, okay, everyone, if you don't have a product, let's work on a product. And if you don't have a service, let's do a service. But everyone has their own ideas and their own directions that they're going in. But it's so mm-hmm. nice to know that you can be part of a group and say, hey, guys, you know, I've got this conference and I've, I, I've got some things in order, but I sure could use, you know, a couple of more speakers or I need some writers for, you know, to finish up this book that I'm doing. You know, what do you th- guys think about uh, <clears throat> these promotional ideas I'm thinking about trying for my product or my service? And it's a great it's just a great place to be able to hash all of that out. So um, there's many benefits to the Hustle Hub, many benefits, but we kind of talk about the Collaboration Station and the Mastermind Sessions because those two alone is worth more than what you pay for the Hustle Hub. And we're going to talk about price in a moment, but let's talk a little bit about the Mastermind Sessions. What are you guys' um, impressions about it? What do you like about it? Um, You know, what goes on in the Mastermind Session? I'll leave the floor open to you ladies. Tony, I like the fact that um, we come with an expectancy that the she who leads is going to have some meat on the table for us. And so I, we don't know what you're going to talk about, but we know it's going to be something that we can feast on. Mm -hmm. Um, Your presentations are professional. There's something that's engaging in it. And then we're able to talk about it as well. So I think um, that in itself, when I think, and I'm just saying, when I think about some of the groups that I have paid for and what I have paid to be a part of them and what I didn't get in them, (laughs) um, I'll just say, um, I feel like whatever I invested in the last, months, half a year, um, I couldn't beat it. There, there's no way that I could have been fed like that for what I've invested in, it, really. Wow, that is, um, that's really great to hear because I know I have gone through my own history of taking courses and workshops and, you know, you're talking about thousands of dollars, you're talking about hundreds of dollars in mentorships and all of this um and sometimes you walk away with nothing more than what you knew already yeah. um, but for the price that you pay for the hustle hub you are getting a lot for it and on not to mention that you can ask a lot of questions there's a q a session um where you can ask questions that may even be off topic you know to get your uh, questions answered and we know that people will charge you a lot just to get questions answered um does anybody else have anything that they want to say about the mastermind session? I think I've only been to one of them, but as I recall, when it's nice to have you introduce something to us, Tony, and then we can freely talk about it because sometimes in a big crowd, you feel like you're people are going to think I'm stupid or something if I ask a question. So, I mean, I felt that way before. So in, in the small mastermind, it's, able, it's nice to be able to talk with people that are where you are that really want you to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I can concur with that. You know, when you feel like if you ask this question, is everybody going to look at you? They're going to laugh at you. Uh, sometimes they're actually coming from another level where it's not even appropriate to ask a certain question because they've already come in on level C. <laughs> and you in all you are level A, okay? And you don't feel comfortable enough to to answer the questions. Well, I will say going into the new year, I'm very excited because we're gonna have some people coming in to speak, but also we have some very valuable people within the group themselves who can share and bring some things to the table that we all can benefit from. And that's the importance of the hustle hub, um, recognizing all the gifts and talents. Um, we are, well, we talked a little bit about the value. Um, there's whole, there's a lot more. There's a link there that you guys can go to. And for those who are listening to us on the podcast, the link, all the letters are lowercase. The link is B I T dot L Y forward slash hustle hub H U S T L E H U B. Okay. And this is for everyone who's listening on all of the platforms and you don't see the link again. The link is B I T dot l y forward slash hustle hub 
okay? And when you go there, you will see all of the benefits that you will receive. We only mentioned two of them. And the two we mentioned far exceeds the money that you pay. So let's talk about price because people worry about price. And I've gone to webinars, you know, and they start off free and then they're going to, at the end, they're going to upsell you into a thousand dollar package, a two thousand mm-hmm. dollar package, hundreds of dollars. Let's talk about the price. <laughs> First of all, does anybody remember what the price is? Nineteen ninety five. Yeah, nineteen ninety five, which I say is less than sixty seven cents a day. Um, and we talked about a lot of the things that people get with the Hustle Hub. If you think of the things, you can talk about that too. But let's just also talk about the price. I mean, what you're getting for for the price. The price is full of so much value. It's definitely is priceless, honestly. Uh, just what you put into um, just the uh, information that is given to us and um, the added information. Listen, I don't know for me, uh, as an entrepreneur, time is money. And most people don't understand that, but the time that you put into, you know, the masterminds, it is priceless. It's totally priceless, full of value, and you're going to come out um, soaring and thriving at the end of the session for sure. Yeah, awesome. Um, I think the the price is just amazing. Um, I can't believe you get as much as you do for the price, um, as much information as you do. And let's talk about the camaraderie. I mean, you know, the connection, the networking, uh, the friendship. Um, let's talk a little bit about that because I know our time is winding up, but we've got to put that in about the connections and the team building you make just from being part of the Hustle Hub? I think being a part of the Hustle Hub, it brings a sense of ownership is what it does. Mm -hmm. Wow. I feel like I am a part of this. Yeah. I joined it because I felt like I could be a part of it. Um, So I think ownership is very important because when we feel that we are part of ownership, we will, we will, we will be willing to invest in it. Mm. And so the best the investment of 1995 to me is minute when I consider the value that is brought to it from Tony and from the other ladies. And I know I bring value to it as well. And so I'm not just coming to feed, I'm coming to share, but it's a great platform to be able to connect on either side of that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I just totally agree with that. I think that, um, and, and I know we're getting ready to wind up, but I will say that some people may be watching and they say, oh, 1995, that's a lot. For some people, they think that's really a lot, but yet they spend money on things that will never, ever give them money back. I mean, a bag of uh, uh, junk food or chips or whatever, you know, when you go get your regular supply. <laughs> <laughs> would be more than, you know, what you're going to pay for the Hustle Hub. Uh, we talked about coffee. You know, what is that? What are they? Are they lattes? I want to call them. Well, lattes. it depends on what you Six, get. Seven dollars. Yep. Six, seven dollars. Six, seven dollars. So even if we went with the six, six times five is 30 and 30 times four is one hundred and twenty dollars. Uh, a month and it adds no nutritional value adds no money to your pocket none of that but yet we're not saying quit all of that maybe quit it one day and it will add up to what you could pay for the hustle hub it will actually double what you would pay uh for the hustle hub maybe somewhere around there depending on whether you did six or seven dollars and so um we Tony, have to I, really... think, I think the word is investment that's it yes we we invest in what we want Right. And so if somebody says 1995 is too much, it means they don't want to invest in it because yes. we will make a sacrifice and invest in that which we feel will benefit us. Right. Mm-hmm. And my husband always says, how bad do you want it? And if you want it bad enough, then you'll pay it because I see people and, and then you learn so many valuable lessons. I think Judy and I had talked about this before. I know I've had customers come to me before. Many people know I own a publishing company 
and I believe it was TBN, and I'm not trying to put you on blast, but I mean, I'm just quoting your price. I believe they said it was like $12,000 to publish, okay? And just not having, if you were part of the Hustle Hub, you would first of all realize that's too high. And secondly, you would learn so many other ways to get your book published and get it done professionally. So you can lose a lot of money by not investing in yourself and getting the information yeah. you need. Okay. Before we go, ladies, um, I do want to recognize that I know Dr. Annette has an upcoming conference coming up. So we definitely want to talk about that. And ladies, if you have something else, please uh, just chime in after Dr. Annette and let us know what you uh, want to put out there for people to, 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 to join you in. Yeah, so we're retreating in our homes this year. <laughs> The date is January the 30th. It's the last Saturday this month. It is from 9 a.m. in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. The cost is only, yes, there's a cost, $21, a whole $21 for a day full of exciting teaching, preaching, fellowshipping, dancing, singing, whatever. We have 13 speakers. I have at least two dancers that are going to be presenting from their locations. And I'm just looking for a high time. So um, you can um, reach out to me at uh, Dr. org or Dr. Annette West Ministries at Gmail if you have any questions. Thank you so much for that. And we definitely- And Tony- and Lakeisha are going to be speakers as well in the in our venue. Yes, thank you so much for that. I was going to say, Lakeisha and I have the honor of speaking on that ticket. So you, uh, if you're following any one of us, um, you're definitely going to see the flyers and get the information. And all of you who follow me on different platforms, you will definitely get that information, as well as those who are on my newsletter, you will get that information too as well. Um, Lakeisha or Judy, did you have anything that you wanted to make sure people um, are part of or know about before we end this session? Absolutely. If you haven't joined, um, my podcast is on Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, where we're having about 45 minutes of amazing entertainment, um, inspiration, and love. Definitely, we're going to have a great time. So, definitely come by and join. That's amazing. And Judy? I don't have anything yet, um, to be continued. I love you. And actually, we do have something special. But we're going to focus on that in her interview on tomorrow. And, you know, she just came out with her book. It's a re-release of her book. Um, and so we are very excited about that, which you can get on Amazon, okay? All right. You see how we take up slack for one another? <laughs> So that's finding hope in the midst of grief. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. That's what we do. Finding hope in the midst of grief. Make, grief. make sure you get that on Amazon. And we'll talk about it further during her interview on tomorrow at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ladies, thank you so much for joining thank me. You so. guys are always so awesome. Thank you, Tony. I bye, Judy. Bye, Judy. Bye, Judy. Bye, Judy. Bye, Judy. Bye, Dr. So West. Thank you so much. All righty. All right, so you heard from the ladies, and that is not all of our members, actually. Um, we had so we have several other. Where did you go? Members. We have several other members from the Hustle Hub, and um, we just thank God for them and for being part of us. And um, they are really, I mean, we're just blessed to be with one another. But you listen, you can be part of the Hustle Hub too. You don't have to be looking out on the outside. You can join us by going to bit.ly forward slash hustle hub. It's all lowercase, all together. Um, and make sure you go there and just read the benefits for yourself. We couldn't, we didn't have enough time to talk about all the benefits. We just didn't have enough time. So you definitely want to check it out, you know, being part of our Hustle Hub uh, magazine and uh, being getting a lot of newsletters and information on business and training. Um, our Biz Cafe, which we go um, to 10 different places within the nation uh, where we have casual meeting and coffee or hot chocolate. And we just network. Uh, we also have places where we go, some elite places where we do meetings and trainings. Uh, we have all types of events, all types of situations that the Hustle Hub uh, 
helped us. But while we're in the pandemic, we have our collaboration station, our mastermind, and we do as much as we can from the locations that we're in. So just those two things alone is worth all of the money. But as we, you know, the coronavirus lifts and we go back to seeing one another, there's so much more that we do for the 1995. So make sure you go to that link, check it out and see what it's all about. And I wanna thank all of the new people who joined us since we've been uh, bringing the information about the Hustle Hub to you. Um, I think it's going to be of benefit. Well, I gotta go, but I can be reached on the web, which is www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you guys and there's nothing you can do about it. And this ends this segment of check in and chat thank you so much hello there each and every one of you thank you so much for tuning in make sure you like this video subscribe to this channel and ring that bell click it for me so that you will know anytime i upload a new video